One of Harriet's quilts was a quilted wall hanging of seashells, and it made me want to make one. I went to my sister's and filmed some of her seashells because hers are more varied and prettier than mine, but these are some that I had collected. I like the ones that have been in the ocean so long that they're only pieces anymore and they have holes in them just for the dark texture on it. Our North Carolina shell is the Scotch Bonnet right here. And she had a couple of Scotch Bonnets too. And then I have one that is very shiny. Um, I might even want to use some types of paint that's metallic if I choose that one. But I know that I want to use a sand dollar just because of the story that goes with the sand dollar. And I think I would like to use oyster shells in mine. I don't think she had any of those. But I will show you some of hers and then I'm going to sketch out a design using some of our shells. These are some of the shells that my sister had, and I love these shells. This one I decided to use. And I love the star one. I will use that one later somewhere. This is one sketch that I just did using my seashells. I'll look at it and do another one or two and then decide on my design. I decided to simplify the design that I had in my sketchbook. I still want the sand dollar as my center of interest I would kind of like to have the sea glass in there and the scotch bonnet, which is the North Carolina shell. Um, I like the ones that are like this, that have all the holes that have been tumbled around in the ocean so long. And I would like to use the pearlized white one right here. I'm using this one, I don't know, it's similar to the Scotch bonnet, but different, that um, I saw at my sister's house. And I like it because it has the real dark in the middle that opens up, and the center of interest, since it's white, then I need to have some dark around it. And there will be the dark of the oyster shell and the dark of this bottom um, area right here around it and then all of the little tiny areas will be black in the background probably to also emphasize the whiteness of the sand dollar so i'll sketch this on my cloth this is another one that i don't know how it's going to turn out I haven't asked enough questions to Harriet, but I'm trying to go back to talk to her and see. I don't know if all of these pieces were separate and she sewed them together or if she painted them all on one piece of cloth and then stitched around them when she stuffed them. I'm not sure, but I'll have fun trying it anyway. I'll get back with you. I'm ready to start this project. Um, I stitched a second piece of cloth to make the one that I had wider. And 
stitched around the edges of the shells that were going to be stitched around anyway at one point. And now I'm ready to start painting. Um, I'm going to start with this um, sea glass, but I'm gonna make it more of a teal color. And so I'm using uh, cobalt turquoise and I'm adding some golden interference gold fine to add a little shimmer to it. And so I have it already mixed up in this small container. So we'll begin. And I think it's just gonna be a matter of um, filling in and adding some light spots. But I can tell that this is gonna be a nice dark color with the black that's going right there to contrast with my center of interest, which is the sand dollar. Um, your center of interest, of course, um, it, it's good if you can have your lightest lights and your darkest darks around that particular area. Now I'm starting the oyster shell right here. And this is the one that I'm kind of going by. It has a lot of white in there. Um, and I may even add pearl in there too. But it has some streaks of light gray along here that I want to put in this area. So we'll just go ahead and start. And after I get this black on, then I can go back and add the white and the gray, of course. Added some gray and black at the same time here and just mixing it on the cloth. It's just a little area, I guess, where the oyster was hooked on. I'm adding some Liquitex bronze, iridescent bronze, to the white for this shell. Because I need it to be a little darker than the white of this one. So I'm starting out with that color and then I'll make the dots a darker bronzy color. A bit more. Put in the darker bronze and now I'm going back with a little bit of white because there are little teeth like things that are sticking up right here. So I need to put white where the light's shining on that particular highest point. Lots. 
and they kind of fade in on some edges and it's good to have hard edges and soft edges in your paintings so I'll try to remember that part and they're not all the same shape All right, I've been painting for a while and I am ready to do this little part that was kind of an iridescent looking thing and a shell. I'm going to use um, a metallic gold looking material and then this interference gold again that will lighten it up and some white. I think I have too much paint. And I may put some right in there. I haven't finished to this point. I still need to paint the white on this sand dollar um, and look at it and see what else I want to do. I did put in some sea watercolors and I put a little bit of that in other parts of the painting because you should always put your colors here, yonder, and everywhere in your painting. So I will look at this later and finish it up. I painted the sand dollar with white first and then I put the interference gold, which is still kind of a white but metallic. And then I wanted it to seem like it was more uh, rounded, thicker, and so I'm adding a little bit of light teal mixed with that interference gold around the edges um, to see if that will help to give it some thickness. Because I'm noticing when I look at this sand dollar from the side, I can see a whiter edge of light shining there. <clears throat> Your center of interest, as I said, should be the lightest light and the darkest dark, but it should also have the most details. And right now my shell down here on the bottom is fighting for that, but as far as the details. Um, so, I'm just seeing what I could do to finish this up. And then I'll come back on this and add a little bit more detail around the star part. All right, now I'm going to add a watery teal, like some of this, over where the shadowed area would be. And see if I can bump that back a little bit up under these other shells. and also make it more less important than the center of interest. I think I mentioned on one of the other videos that I did that sometimes when you're doing creative things, you can't think of the words you want or you, your talking is not as precise as it usually is. Yes, I like that. That's pushing that back. Um, and that is the reason why 
when I'm working and it takes me a while to think of what I'm trying to say is because painting, doing quilting, doing any kind of artistic work, you're working on the right side of your brain, but your speaking part is on the left side, and so therefore it's harder for you to do the things that you need to do as far as talking is concerned. All right, these are the indentions on the rocks, and I'm making sure that they're pushed back. I added some permanent ink pen um, for the black dots that finished off. The now I have it outside ready to spray with Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating after I talked to Harriet this morning I decided to uh, use her suggestion and spray this so that um, it won't get as dusty. Do be sure to do this outside because it is smelly probably not good for you. Um, I'll be back after I put the backing and the batting in the middle. Well, I think I finished this. It was so much fun. It can't compare to the one that Harriet made, but I enjoyed it anyway, and I temporarily hung it on my door my front door just to film it and I have a little creature here right ready to jump into that water. Um, I see him every once in a while on my window that comes out here to the porch. But this was a fun project. I think with this one and the other ones that I've done, I just wanted to show that you don't have to know everything um, and to be creative and jump out and try something completely different even if you don't know if it will work out or not sometimes you might be surprised thank you for watching subscribe to my channel please